Kia ora and welcome along to the Mets. There's a severe weather update for Wednesday the 26th of July. We've seen some pretty strong winds through Wellington and across other parts of the country as well as that southerly change ran up and across us and we're left in a pretty good southwesterly feed of air as we go through the rest of today. So there are some severe weather watches and warnings both for today for Wednesday but also as we head through in towards Thursday. Now, as we go through the rest of today, we'll find we're left in this southwest. See, more in the way of those winds pushing up and across us. You can see these fronts have been driven up by those winds. More showers and perhaps some heavy thundery ones, particularly on those western facing coasts of the South Island through the nighttime and up towards the North Island as we go through towards Thursday. But generally, it's that windy weather that's going to be really noticeable across many parts of our patch. And we have got some severe weather watches and warnings. On these charts, you're looking for those darker greens and the purple showing the strongest winds and the gales there. You can see really increasing through, like I say, the Canterbury High Country as we head through the night time, around those southern parts of the country, through parts of Southland and Dunedin as we go through and towards Thursday, stretching up towards Banks Peninsula, and then finally as we head through Thursday towards parts of that Marlborough coast and towards Wellington and southern Wairapa. So we have a selection of severe weather watches, mainly for that wind, now for those areas up towards the north, uh, through Northland, Coromandel, and down towards uh, Gisborne. Now for the rest of Wednesday, in fact, that went across the far north, those winds should ease off for a time, but we have got that watch out till 1 p.m. While these ones you can see from Wellington southwards as we go through the daytime on Thursday. So we'll start off with the ones in the northern parts of the country. We've got those southwesterly winds, perhaps reaching gale force in the most exposed areas through to around about 1 p.m. on Wednesday, to around about 4 p.m. for the likes of, say, the Gisborne region. Again, just with those winds reaching severe gale in the most exposed areas around the likes of Mar here as we head through the afternoon there. But it's down in the south we'll find the stronger winds as we go through in towards the night time tonight, Wednesday into Thursday. Those winds are really picking up around those southern parts of the country as we head through in towards the daytime on Thursday itself. And you can see strengthening southwesterlies around Banks Peninsula, skirting around the likes of Marlborough and up towards Wellington as well. So a rather windy looking story around that eastern coast of the South Island. Now, for places like Southland, Stewart Island, and the, perhaps around towards the Clutha, we're looking at those winds picking up from about 10 p.m. on Wednesday, reaching in towards midday Thursday. Gusts perhaps up to around 120 kilometers an hour around those exposed coastal parts. Places like Invercargill could find those strengthening winds as we go through the night time tonight. And those areas are pretty much south of Lumsden. We head across towards Dunedin and North Otago. That risk is perhaps a little bit later on, but from those early hours of Thursday morning, again, with those gust values still up to around 120 kilometers an hour as we head through the daytime and up towards the likes of Banks Peninsula, similar kind of values, but again, that risk is later through the afternoon on Thursday in towards Thursday, uh, in towards uh, the nighttime Thursday night in towards Friday. There is also a watch out through the Canterbury High Country. Now this is for those winds which are northwesterly, so ahead of the feature rather than the southwesterlies we'll see around Banks Peninsula, but that risk is from midnight tonight through in towards the early hours of Thursday morning. So a little bit sooner for the banks, uh, for the likes of say the Canterbury High Country and a different direction to the, wind, the, to the winds we'll see over Banks Peninsula. And as we'll go through the data, we'll carry on seeing those winds moving northward. So places like the Marlborough coast in towards the Wellington and those southern parts of Wairapa, we've got that risk of those winds picking up as we go through the nighttime Thursday from about 9 p.m. Thursday through in towards Friday. So, so you can see those winds running up that coast there, but we have got some pretty unsettled weather in store. The strongest winds perhaps down around that southern and eastern part of the country, now Stuart Islands, south and, and across in towards Dunedin as well. So head along to the Met Service website for the latest information on those. And you can find all of that information at metservice.com.